we got an interesting topic here today, guys. So let's power through this. Let's get into this and break this down. So you guys ever notice how like you can tell the truth in a certain situation. You might be around a group of people or something like that or could just be one on one with a person and uh, people start to get offended. Things like this like and you're not even phased. You're, you're literally in your frame. You're just saying things. You're saying words that have meaning. Um, and these people are not liking it at all. Whenever you are exposing the truth in certain situations, you could be having a debate. It could be anything. The enemies are always going to reveal themselves. They're going to show true colors because they can't handle the truth. They can't handle what is right in front of them at that very moment. Whatever that debate or that argument or whatever is going on. They just can't handle it. They're going to cower away. They're just going to they're going to say certain things to you to get you riled up. They're going to try to do that anyways. It might not work. Um, and I have so much wisdom and experience in those situations to the point where I know how to handle them perfectly. So they always end up getting mad. They always are the ones that scurry off like little rats, like the little rats that they are. Um, they have about as much charisma as a wet mop, so that doesn't help them either. I mean, they just really have nothing. They have nothing but uh, manipulation, complete lies and deceptions. Like, that's all they really have. They, they sugarcoat every single thing that they say. Their thoughts are sugarcoated. And what I mean by that is it's not real. Like, their thoughts, the things that they think, the lies, the deceptions, all the manipulations and stuff like this, what they say. It's just not real. It's not. And they could say things about you. <clears throat> they could say things about other people. And it's just complete bullshit. Like... <laughs> And you try to tell them the truth. And it's like, now that then they want to fire back at you and saying, you're getting all defensive and things like this whenever, and that's, that's completely gaslighting. Like, it's just like I said, they, they have really nothing to bring to the table. They have nothing real to say. They're not going to tell you the truth of who you are because that's, they're already offended with who you are to begin with because you're a real person and they are not. They want to claim to be these real people. They want to claim to be real and stuff like this, but they are absolutely not. They are fake. You can see it through them. Like, just the way they think, the way they talk, the way they don't even let you, like, speak a word. They, they don't even want to take in, in, into consideration of what you're saying. Like, it's just all wash. And... Let me tell you this, guys, like, these are enemies. These are enemies. They don't want to acknowledge you for who you are. They don't want to acknowledge other people for who they are. They want, like, they just, they're completely delusional. They don't want to see things for what they really are, which is delusion. It's like looking at a flower and thinking that's an animal. Like, are you delusional, pal? You know what I mean? And that's just an example. Like, you can see a bottle of Gatorade on the counter and think that's an avocado. Like, are you delusional, pal? That's how delusional these people are in the way they think about whatever, about certain things, about what they think about you. Like, they could say certain things about you. Like I said, that's not even true. Like, it's completely washed. It makes no sense. That's not who you are. That's not what you do. Maybe that's not what you said. Like, they just take things out of nowhere to make you look bad. And then whenever you try to stick up for yourself, now you're getting all defensive. When they completely just lied and gaslighted you out of nowhere for no reason. It's because they can't handle the truth. 
because they are fake to the core. They can't handle what's real. They have to do these things. They have to lie. They have to manipulate. They are narcissists on the lower spectrum. And I mean they are the worst of the worst. And they're even worse than you think. They're even more dangerous than you think they are. And they deserve every damn thing that's coming to them, which is a karma that they're going to get for the things that they've done to other people. <sighs> it just rattles you up just thinking about this stuff. <clears throat> um... I still have encounters to this day, certain things that happen, you know. I try to avoid people at all costs, so many people. There's just, there's enemies everywhere today. It doesn't matter where you go, there's an enemy in your presence, at least somewhere. And you might not know it. And you could think there's a harmless person around you when they could be an enemy. You might not ever know it. And it's also true to think sometimes, like, you might think that you have an enemy and they might not be an enemy. Like, that's just the way the world is. You could see somebody on social media. They could look like the most smiley, loved, innocent person ever. And they could be a complete witch. And let me tell you guys, this is 100% true. Because I know people like this. And it's like, holy, like, good lord. You can just, like... You see how they act on social media. You see what they post. You see their feed and it's like... That's not who they are. That's not who they are. That's not how they act. They're just... They're evil people. I've seen... The behavior on so many people like that that are just so smiley and look like they'd never harm a fly. Like on social media. And in reality, they have a terrible, negative, toxic mindset. And then you could see people on social media that might look a little bit more mean, untrustworthy, intimidating, things like this. They might just look, you know, and they might be the nicest person ever. And that's just how certain things are. You can't really tell. And, and honestly, like you just... You can't judge somebody completely off social media because sometimes what you're seeing is not what you're really seeing on the inside. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <clears throat> Even with me, like I'll be the first to admit, like, if you look at my social media, like, and you didn't, you didn't know me as a person, like, these videos didn't exist, you guys didn't know me on YouTube, you never see me in person, and all you've seen was my social media, you would never expect me to be the person that I actually am in real life. And it's just because you can't really present yourself on social media, like, as real as you would like to, unless you're making, like, videos of yourself when you're talking, you're showing more of your personality, which is something I just don't do on Instagram. But that's what YouTube is for, in my opinion. That's what real life is for, in my opinion. Um... Instagram is just sort of there, but like I said, you can't really judge a person off that and what you see alone on that because who somebody is in real life is much more important than any other social media, anything. Like, who you are in person is actually who you are. This stuff, once upon a time, did not exist. None of this stuff, once upon a time, existed. So, um, that's why I think people get away with certain things that they never would be able to if it wasn't for social media. Some people use it for evil. Some people use it for good. That's why you have to be careful from some of these smiling people. Because they're not who you think they are. But they want you to think that that's who they are. So maybe you meet them on social media, you start talking, and then you meet up in person. They're probably going to act at first like the person they are on social media or similar to that. That this smiling person. But you're going to see deep down inside who they really are and their true intentions. And that is an enemy. Even if it's a girl and you're a guy and you meet up, it still could be an enemy. Like, I've dated people in the past. They didn't love me the way that I, that I thought they did. And it was an enemy in plain sight. I couldn't see it. It just... They did a great job. They did a hell of a job. And I'll give it to them. Congratulations. You fooled me. You got me. 
you got me. What can you do? And sometimes people are so damn good at it that it just happens and there's nothing you can do. That's why you really have to get to know somebody first. That's why you don't really invest so much and give so much of yourself and so much of your honesty and good energy into a person before you really spend time with them like doing higher level things. You want to see more sides to this person. You want to go on a hiking trip with this person. You want to have dinners with this person. You want to stay the night at this person's house. Um, I'm just telling you guys, you want to, you don't want to just like, let's say you go over to this person's house at 9, 10, 11 p.m. or something. You guys do the casual Netflix and chill, get snacks, you do things like that. Um, you blow her back out, whatever, you know what I mean? Like you could do the casual thing, what a lot of people do and a lot of this younger generation does. Um, it's not enough to know who a person is. And a lot of the people that like to do just that are hiding a lot of things about themselves. So don't believe it. Do not believe it. They're not willing to show you who they really are. Are they willing to go on hiking trips with you? And that's just an example. You could do other things as well. You could go golfing. The, tr the, the, the point of the matter is, is that you're doing different things. You're seeing them in different places. You're seeing them around other people. You're getting, you're, you're getting them out of their comfort zone because anybody can put on this fake act in their comfort zone. But to catch them somebody, but to catch them somewhere else, their true colors are going to show. And that's why I like going to different places all the time. I go to the boardwalk, to the gym, to the grocery store. I get out of the town I'm in to go to Charlottetown because I'm in Summerside. <clears throat> and... I can just feel it right now, but when you stay in your hometown all the time, it gets toxic. Even in your comfort zone, where I'm at right now, it gets toxic. I can't stay here long. As soon as I'm, as soon as I'm done with a video, and I, I can't say I'm in my comfort zone right now because I'm doing a video in front of hundreds, thousands of people. These videos are not comfortable, and that's for damn sure. But it is my comfort zone in this place that I'm living in when it's just me and the cameras are not on and things like this and I like to get out of my comfort zone as much as possible. I'll, it, it could be as simple as me walking out my front door and walking down the street. Like, you're not in your comfort zone. Something could happen, you know what I mean? Like, who knows? But you have to get these people out of their comfort zone and it's important. And you're gonna start to see different attitudes from these people. You're going to start to see different things because pe something I notice is people are very different in, in places that they're in. And it can be somewhat normal to an extent, but you want to see how they are in different places. I change my vibe too when I'm in different places, but it's like you're not going to see some negative toxic attitudes from me. Like... Of course, if you get into a squash court and you're competing in a sport, your attitude's going to be much different than my attitude as if I'm sitting down right now in front of this camera doing a video. Like, my body language is going to be completely different. My mindset is going to be completely different. I'm ready for something completely different than what I'm doing right now. So it's normal to adjust to environments, but you're going to see how they adjust to certain environments. And that is the key to figuring out who you're dealing with. You want to see them in different places. And I noticed something that when I dated girls, some girls in the past, like we went to certain places and they showed massive red flags in certain places that we went. And it's like, it's exposure. It didn't feel real. It didn't feel right. And I caught on to these attitudes. And if I was as smart as I am now, I probably just would have walked away from certain situations, but... You know, it's just more learning experiences that I put on my back and that I carry around me for the rest of my life and I teach everybody else and it's just, it's even cringy to think about, but it's good learning lessons. And I actually talk to people on the phone, like through consultations that they tell me like they're dealing with this certain girl 
and it's getting to the point where it's getting cringy and that's exactly what I'm talking about like their attitudes they just expose themselves like at a clear day they, they show you who they really are and that's why like you could date girls for such a long time and you don't get to see certain sides of them and that's why you're surprised like from certain outcomes that happen like there's there's certain girls I, I dated in the past for a while I didn't see much sides to them but I couldn't believe when it ended because it, it just felt so right it felt so perfect but they were showing me the absolute perfect version of themselves and nothing else and that's why I was surprised but if I would have seen other sides of them I probably wouldn't even have dealt with them so it's like thank you God for saving me because I didn't see what that really was and like I said like you, you should be you should be thankful for things like that. I look back and I am. I wish it could have been the person that they presented themselves to be because it would have been amazing. But, and that side of the person was amazing. But this, it's just not who they are and it's not who they ever will be probably. So you had to get rid of the thought of who you thought they were and just continue to move on. The, the same thing with this video, like, Enemies will expose themselves. This is nothing this is nothing different than them being an enemy because honestly it's true. They might not be able to, to get you to kill you, but it's like it's something similar to an enemy. I would I would agree with that. Cause they fooled you. What do enemies like to do? They like to fool you. They like to use manipulation. They like to lie, to get what they want. They were never for you. They were lying the whole time. You got used. They wasted your entire time. And you know what they're doing? They're doing this to other people who they can fool. That's why they start to go for much lower value people because they can fool those types of people. And these lower value people, they might think they're winning with these people. But little do they know what's actually going to happen. And they're gonna be left in just complete shock and disbelief. But anyways, guys, just understand that you have to get to the truth of every situation. You have to get to the truth of every situation you're in with every single person that you're dealing with before you want to actually put your trust into somebody. Like, I don't really look at people from where I come from too damn much as, as a much. It's like, I just, I'm too far past that. I'm just too far ahead of all the stuff that I see. Like, it's just crazy. And <clears throat> I'm just stop myself from sneezing for a sec. Um, I just don't care, like who I have in my life. I I really don't. You are the most important thing in your life. You leveling up, you growing as a person is the most important thing in your life. If you never do that, you might be stuck around low value of people for the rest of your entire life. You level up, you actually might have opportunities to get around some real people that are about real stuff. And I just happen to get brought up in a place and in a time where you're just around a bunch of smucks. And I never knew that, but you start to learn that as you get older. And I always knew I was going to go on the path of growth. I always knew I wasn't going to go and follow with the crowd. I was going up. I don't, didn't know how, but I knew I was going to do it. And you have to keep going that way no matter who you have in your corner or who you don't. Like, I don't care if I have anybody. It doesn't matter to me. i got a few real people in my life right now. It is what it is. I, I don't care about the rest. Like, they can pretend to be my friend. They can pretend this. They can pretend that. I see them for who they are, and I don't even really know what to think of them. And some of them I can see as an enemy, but some of them I just don't know what to think about them. I just don't know. And I'll give some people the benefit of the doubt, but it's like... I can see certain people either growing or not, and I think... I think some people in life will be about it, and some people just never will be about it. You want to leave those people alone. You can't be messing with people who are not on your level. If they're not on your level, leave them alone. And that's that's the rest i got to say for this video, so I'm going to cut this one off. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. I got another video to do, so I will get to that one. And I got some honey right now. Lost a couple of brain cells during that video, guys. It was a lot of thinking. It was a lot of conversation. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Energy, energy consuming. So I'll get to the next video, guys. I'll be back.